Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here with Tekken 4. Um, we saw Mr. Violet, who is Lee. Not totally Lee. Now if you go on Xiao Yu and hit circle, you get Miharu, who is uh, who I'm mistaken as Asuka. Whoops. Xiao Yu was a junior at Mishima High School. But lacking any particular goals, Xiao Yu grew tired of her daily routine. One day, she received an anonymous email warning her of Heihachi's evil intentions and the dangers she faced. Though Xiaoyu replied to the email in hopes of an answer, she didn't receive any further messages. Xiaoyu's intuition told her that Jin, who had been missing since the last tournament, could be the sender. She believed in the message and began to distrust Heihachi and the Mishima Zenbatsu. Upon hearing the announcement of the next tournament, Xiaoyu decided to enter in hopes of being reunited with Jin and to unveil the truth behind Heihachi and the Mishima Zenbatsu. Get ready for the next battle. We're fighting Julia, who has a very, very cool profile picture, actually. Spirits, give me strength. Yeah, it's good to see her back. Final round. Tekken 4, anyways. Hey, so, uh... So, uh, at work, everyone was getting cold because they just got a cold! <laughs> it's me! I'm getting recordings in before I end up friggin' uh, losing my voice again because I have a feeling that's just gonna happen. Uh, regardless, though, I'm at least recorded up till, uh, well, I just need to do uh, Heaven's Gate and Mortal Kombat and Toshinden, and I should be okay up until I need to, you know, recover again. <laughs> I already have uh, two of my Friday episodes uh, queued up, so it's all good. They're all one-offs, that's why. Uh, I need to get a longer HDMI cord, though, because I really want to play a few games just straight from the PC, and it inputs quite nicely, actually, so, uh... Yeah, gotta get a longer HDMI cord, which I'm probably gonna fix that, like, if not this week, next. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so I thought Miharu here was, uh, Asuka, because she, you know, same haircut. <laughs> but whatever, I didn't realize that was a trend at the time, but my week. <laughs> and it's just her friend on the ending there. Just basically a Xiao Yu clone, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sorry if I'm like breathing heavily in the mic too. I can hardly breathe. <laughs> My nose is very stuffy. <laughs> it's fine. I don't get sick days at work anymore, so I'm just gonna survive the weekend and then I can go, like just relax. Except to survive Thursday and Friday. And I'm good. Make it. <laughs> I already got enough Buckleys in me. Let's <laughs> keep going. Well, nighttime Buckleys, because uh, daytime's probably gonna knock me out anyway, so that happens. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm so I feel bad. I'm behind on my Inktober. Even though I thought I was gonna, you know, have time to do Inktober. Um, I'm behind on my Patreon stuff for this month, but. It'll, that one will get done. That's not a problem there. <laughs> I just, uh, I didn't realize that, you know, starting a new job would actually be a very busy time. Who knew, right? <laughs> Fuck. It's all good, though. It's all good. Well, today, because I've just felt, like, all, all around shitty today because of just the uh, friggin' weather and rain and stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, I should actually talk about how my team went first. <laughs> So it downpoured when I was heading up to the bus stop, and you know, that's fine, that's, it comes with the territory, right? But then when I get on the bus, the bus driver basically was like, oh, all these people are soaking wet. Let's just crank up the AC and let's watch them shiver. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happened, it froze. Um, I felt like I was doing a lot of mistakes at work, but I gotta remember. Like, one thing I have to remind myself is that, um, yeah, I'm gonna make mistakes in a new job, and, uh, the people training me are doing a great job, though, just not being, like, talking down or any shit like that, uh, which is great. Um, basically, it's just more along the lines of, you know, I have to remember my old job, I was, like, in a, you know, 
higher position, no not, because you don't need to get me to want, so we don't talk about that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and like, you know, I was always asked for, like, the questions, and I always had the answers. But then now I'm back to square one where I don't have the answers, and I can't just go do, you know, what I would usually do and whatnot, right? So I, it's, so it, that's actually something that I have to kind of remind myself about, that, it's, you know, I'm not, like... It's not the way it was, and I have to remember that. And if, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and I have to remember that, so it's just like, oh yeah, right, fuck. <laughs> it's not this place. This is a new place. You gotta find new procedures, get used to it. It'll be fine, you adjust. And it was just one of those things where it's just like, oh, I'm growing up everything. But then I was like, oh, I can't feel bad about it, though, either. Because it was very fixable. It's nothing like, oh no, I fucked up everything. It's more like, ah, you missed this one thing. You better luck next time. <laughs> you ah, I lost. I lost to Kazuya. And his intense eyebrows. Which, by the way, my eyebrows do that swoop <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I have to brush my eyebrows down. <laughs> TMI, I don't care. <laughs> I can't even do a woo. Oh no. Oh no, no. Gee, don't get too sick. Ugh. I am not good with Haru, even though she's basically Xiao Yu, but guess what? I'm also garbage with Xiao Yu! Hey! Oh god, I get cornered. Fuck! Yeah, I might just cut back this time. Got him! Woo! I did bad. <laughs> That's okay though, because I cut all that out on how scrubby I was, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Steven, Fox! It's Hawaiian shirt! Fight. Okay, come on. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I think I only have two more of the extra characters, I think. I have to just look at the uh, list that I have, and then I'll remember for sure. Because I know there's, um, yeah, I think hmm, I'll check the download list. <laughs> Not the download list, the game facts on the secret characters. <laughs> It's pretty cool though that they did like, you know, certain alternate costumes in this one too. Though most of them are just clones without endings, but hey, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> it's like, it, but do you remember in this time it's like, more characters! Never mind the fact that they were basically clones. She seemed happy. Oh yes, Heihachi Mishima looking creepy in his diaper as he fights a teenage girl. Yes, perfect. That's all everyone wanted. Round. Fight. <laughs> Let's kick this creep's ass. Because <laughs> remember, Tekken 3, he got the pervert ending. <laughs> I always like to point out that that ending was animated by the people that did uh, Kite and Meza Fort. <laughs> but that one, I also might add, though, because, like, you know, everyone's like, oh, Meza Fort and Kite, ha ha ha, violent porn, ha. Ah. But, um. They also did a very, very gorgeous animated short in Robot Carnival called Presence. I highly recommend seeking that out. I especially recommend the dub, actually, because I found the dub was just, you know, appropriate for it. So good. Anyways. Zhao Yu defeated Heihachi. No one foresaw this outcome. Soon thereafter, Zhao Yu learned that Heihachi's many evil deeds. He was clearly guilty of supporting the raid on G Corporation. The evil nature of Mashima Zaibatsu was finally revealed. Six months later. The door is open. We have an ending again. Same ending, but there's Miharu this time. It's more focused on her, I guess, but not really. Oh, look, there's Zhao Yu. President Zhao Yu, reporting for business. I don't know why I sound like a 1920s newspaper person, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, I can talk through this ending if I want because we already saw it. <laughs> and it's subtitled, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know. It, 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 uh, I can't talk again. <laughs> Basically, when you think about it, because it's clone characters, they have, like, usually endings that are common. Panda got a different ending because Panda was actually Panda. So, I mean, that's cool. And nothing to do with Kuma either. So, oh, hey, two thumbs up because that means Kuma's getting his own ending. Um, yeah, definitely like a few of the other secret characters are not getting their own endings. They're just going to be sharing with the uh, person they're a clue of. 
now on, I'm gonna make my dreams come true. Huh? Why do you change all of a sudden? I saw Jin. After the tournament, he was dressed like an emo loser. <laughs> Just kidding. Dress the way you like, guys. It doesn't make you a loser. Unless you're, like, uh, you know, doing it to be, like, lewd and forcing your dick upon people or something. Because really, that's not cool, man. <laughs> Like, for instance, like, even though I'm saying dress like you like, don't walk around with a banana hammock. In fact, don't walk around with a G-string either, because... <laughs> you know what the better way to put it is, don't walk around with G-string, go on a bus, and sit on one of the seats, because somehow that just... Oh. <laughs> uh, of course, what am I to say, right? <laughs> I'm just sitting around in my jimmy jams. My jammies. <laughs> Looking at playing Tekken 4, recording it, and then posting it up on the internet. So I'm not exactly an authority figure, you know. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, damn. Anyways, Xiao Yu Land. Oi. Tekken 4. Oi. Ugh. I think I need a fucking nap after this. Anyways, Zaji Berserker signing off on this edition of Tekken 4. Uh, till next episode, I will see y'all later. Bye now.